CP has had a culture of innovation since the steam era, moving to the diesel electric era, and now really to the hydrogen electric era. And this is going to be essential and critical for reducing greenhouse gas emissions within the North American and world freight industry. So my name is Kyle Mulligan. I'm the Chief Engineer at Canadian Pacific. And today, we're out here looking at the CP hydrogen locomotive prototype. At CP specifically, we run trains as exceeding 20,000 tons of product per train and five locomotives, each with 4,400 horsepower, burning diesel fuel. So by converting those locomotives to hydrogen electric locomotives, we're going to significantly reduce the greenhouse gas emissions we're generating. However, we're still going to be able to support our economy and its growth in the vast quantity of industries that we have within the country. To build a hydrogen train, you have to start by removing the diesel engine, the alternator, and the fuel tank below the train. You place fuel cells at the top deck where the alternator was, and you put batteries where the fuel tanks used to be. These two parts together feed power to the electric traction motors below the train, and you're in motion. This hydrogen conversion has the potential to save 2.5 kilotons of CO2 emissions every year. And with a North American rail sector fleet of 30,000 plus locomotives, the potential impact of this pilot could really add up. Well, I, I think ironically, the difference between this locomotive and a normal train, it, it's actually not that different. Because we're retrofitting the locomotive to power existing electric traction motors, we're essentially looking to operate this train exactly like we operate a diesel electric locomotive. The difference being is that electricity is being generated in a clean way. Utilizing the $15 million of funding is going to springboard this project so that we can get this technology out into the industry faster. And that would not be possible without ERA.